Greetings, we are the Boss Prophets and the Generals, Dr. Apostles April and Andrew, and we are here with your weekly supernatural word of empowerment. We decree by the power of God that what you are about to hear will begin to shift you into your new season. Let's listen in closely as the word is already in progress. Number nine was the scripture reference, which was 2 Kings 9, 10. You guys can write that down if you want, but I already basically broke that scripture down. Number 10, uh, last but not least, I would say, I got one more really, but I'm just going to say this, number 10. Well, actually, I'm just saying number 10, Jezebel is controlling. Jezebel is a controlling spirit. Jezebel tries con to control the people that are around her. Jezebel tries to control everything that is around her. Dre Jezebel was almost like like a ha was almost has like a dictatorship spirit. You can't do anything, uh, or if you try to do something, Jezebel was very critical of what you do to manipulate you to make you feel less than, to make you feel less than. Somebody on here, there's someone that has been trying to make you feel less than through the spirit of manipulation, which is ultimately the spirit of Jezebel. Everything you do, they're critical of. Everything you do is not right. And they try to put on a display in front of others to make you become belittled. It's all a mind game. It's a mind game. Jezebel eats on the mind. And if she can get the mind of those around her and the mind of you, then she's got you. It starts from the mind, and eventually she will kill the body. She may, I'm not talking about physically. You have some people out there that are poisoning you, that are stab you in your sleep and all of that. But mostly, 90% of the time, Jezebel wants to kill you emotionally, mentally, so that you can die spiritually. When you die spiritually, when you die spiritually, it begins to affect the body. I know some people, unfortunately, that are dead now. They have died because of the spirit of Jezebel. Number 11, last but not least, Jezebel faith. This is her faith. I'm going to tell you something. <clears throat> this is what you do. This is the solution. This is very brief. You keep praying. You keep fasting. You keep praying, fasting, and worshiping to your God. And if you stand strong and operate biblically in love, this is Jezebel's faith. What does it say in 2 Kings 9.10? It says, as for Jezebel, dogs will devour her on the plot of ground at Jezreel. Did you hear what that faith was? Jezebel's faith is death. Listen to me. Jezebel's faith is loneliness. Jezebel's Bell's faith is pain, and eventually Jezebel's faith is death. You can't keep coming against the prophet of God and think God is going to give you grace for that. The Holy Spirit told me I was in worship for about two and a half hours a few nights ago. He said, grace is running out. You see, we're living in a day, we're living in an age, people are operating in satanic spirits, such as the spirit of Jezebel, and they're using the grace card. And that's okay, because God has graces on all, grace on all of us. And the higher you up, the more grace you have. But eventually, grace runs out. How do I know? Take a look at the graveyard. The Holy Ghost specifically spoke to me. He said, grace is running out. You can't keep doing people wrong, manipulating people, beating people up, being critical of people. You can't keep doing that. That spirit will get you in the grave. So you yeah. out there <clears throat> in Facebook land, social media, it's about 18 people that I see that's dealing with this spirit. You stand strong. The Bible talks about fortitude. You have fortitude. You be unmovable. You keep praying. You keep fasting. It may seem like everybody in, in, in your circle is believing this spirit and they're not coming and they're not supporting you. But check, I'm telling you, check this out. You got heaven and the angels that's supporting you. Did you hear what I said? 
Did you hear what I said? Some of y'all got some close people. The Lord is showing me right now. Some of y'all got some people that's close to you that operate, that's operating in this spirit. This spirit is very dangerous. And you, another way that you deal with it, not just through prayer and fasting but and, and standing strong, but you, especially if you're a leader and it's in your church, you deal with it head on. You deal with it head on. Do not play with this spirit. Do not play with this demon. Deal with it. Confront it and cut it off. Because if you don't, it'll spread like a cancer. I've seen it split churches. Did you hear what I said? I've seen it split churches. The spirit of Jezebel also can be in married couples' lives. I've seen that as well. And I'm going to say this too. <clears throat> I'm going to say this. Any woman that is controlling to her husband, she has a spirit of Jezebel. Remember, read directly. Scripture tells us that Jezebel controlled her husband. That is the opposite of class. That is the opposite of womanhood. You don't have to be controlling to be a woman. That is the direct opposite. I can go deeper into that. That's not this teaching. That's not this class. But I have to say this because I feel like three people on here are dealing with that. You be strong. And if it's a, and if, if it's a um, couple that's listening, you guys quit that mess. Fast. Pray. Love on one another. Stop that. Because I see divorces. And that's not what God wants for your life. Glory be unto God. Is a very, very strong spirit in the land. Uh, oftentimes we hear about the spirit of Jezebel, but we don't know how to confront it. We don't know how to deal with it. I ran down the characteristics of the spirit of Jezebel, and I want you guys to really, really take note because even right now, as I was, I'm picking up right now spirits of Jezebel that you may be getting attacked by. Some of you all on here are dealing with that same spirit right now. And you better confront it, confront it, confront it, confront it in love, but confront it in boldness. Don't play with that spirit. That spirit is also attached to the spirit of Absalom. We don't got time to talk about Absalom, but you can do it. You do the uh, Bible study or Bible reading for yourself. If you know about Absalom, Absalom was King David's son, one of his sons, and he, the Bible says he stole the hearts of the people. That spirit is a separation spirit as well, just like Jezebel. Um, Jezebel, when, whenever, I'm just going to say this a few brief things before I close out. Whenever a, the spirit of Jezebel is there, Ahab is always present. Whenever the spirit of Jezebel is there, or in your life, or around your life, Ahab is always present. If you understand Ahab, the spirit of Ahab, that spirit is strong as well. I don't have time to go deep into that. I want you guys to do the studying and the reading for yourself, but understand that Ahab is always present, even with Jezebel. Number two, uh, witches, witches operate in Jezebel's spirits very strongly. Witches operate in Jezebel's spirits very strongly. You may say, Apostle, I know somebody who operates like this, or you may be quietly sitting right now saying to yourself, oh, my God, I got some of those characteristics. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <clears throat> I'm going to say something. I just want to let you know. If you are dealing with that deep inside, you have a loving master, a loving Savior named Jesus that can get you delivered even right now. It ain't Amen. nothing to be ashamed of. It ain't nothing to be ashamed of. But what you should be ashamed of is if you don't want to come out or if you don't want that spirit to come out of you. That's what you should be ashamed of. That's what, that's what you should be ashamed of. But the spirit of Jezebel, if you're dealing with it, God can cast it out immediately. Harabuku shata. Glory be unto God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I feel that spirit even now. And I'm not, I don't want to shame you because God just showed me somebody's name. He just showed me a name that's on here now. If you, know, if you know how me and my wife operate, we operate very, very precisely in the realms of the spirit. I'm not going to call out your name, but God knows who you are. And I'm just extending the invitation today to let you know that you can be set free. Glory be to God. Number three, Jezebel. Understand that Jezebel is a splitting spirit. I think I mentioned that earlier. It's a splitting spirit. What I mean by that it is 
it has a spirit of confusion. The spirit of confusion comes to call separation. Not separation from evil, but separation and confusion. It, call, it comes to cause chaos. It's a splitting spirit. You ever have chaos? You just, all throughout the family, it's always drama. It's always mess. It's always something. Man, don't nobody want to be around her. Don't nobody want to be around him. Everywhere they go is drama. It, it, it calls, they cause call confusion. It calls chaos. It's a splitting spirit. So understand that. Excuse me, that is another characteristic of the spirit of Jezebel. And last but not least, <clears throat> my daughter, she was just sitting there talking to me. She was listening to the search, and she, she had told me, she was like, yeah, Daddy, I know blah, 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 such and such and such and such is like that. I'm not going to say the person's name because we're not trying to embarrass anybody. But she was like, yeah, that person is exactly like that. I was like, wow, you were actually listening, huh? She like, yeah, Daddy, that person has those characteristics. And when I begin to think about it and I begin to see the symptoms that, was, that are developing in that person, I begin to say, wow, you're right. That person has medical conditions, medical issues, suffering in their body, suffering with heart conditions, palpitations, and so forth, all because they don't want to be delivered. They don't want to let that spirit go. Let it go. Let it go. Because if the Bible is true, if the Bible is real, that spirit will only end you in death. I know a lot of people, unfortunately, right now today, they're not on planet Earth because they let their spirit consume them. It wasn't because they overate. It wasn't because of sugar diabetes. It wasn't because of cancer. It was because the spirit of Jezebel. That spirit will open up door, a doorway for you to become sick. One day you healthy, the next day you got cancer. One day you healthy and you skinny and you got sugar diabetes and, and it ain't even run, it don't even run in your family, but you got it though. How is that? That spirit opens up doorways. It opens up invisible portals for disease to come into your body. Get rid of it, woman of God. Get rid of it, man of God. Let it go. I hear in the realms of the spirit now, God is saying, Pharaoh, let my people go. Pharaoh operated in the strong spirit of Jezebel. Let God's people go. Let yourself be free from that. How do you be free from that? It starts with renunciation. Renounce the works of the spirit of Jezebel. Confess with your mouth your sins, and rededicate your life back unto Jesus Christ. It's that simple. It's that easy. Glory be to God. Father, I thank you. I thank you right now for this powerful teaching on the spirit of Jezebel. I thank you, Lord God, for everyone under the sound of my voice. Lord God, touch their lives like never before. Those who are dealing with this spirit, even now, the young woman, the two young women you're showing me now that's having heart trouble on this line. Lord God, fix it and correct it, Lord God. Lord God, massage their hearts, Lord God. Open up their, their, their mindset and their spirits to receive your correction, to receive your deliverance and love. Lord God, I just pray that they get a hold of you before it's too late. Lord God, you do it. In the mighty, miraculous name of Jesus, we touch and agree. Let all God's people say amen. 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 Glory be to God. <clears throat> Glory be to God. Glory be to God for that. Glory be to God. It's a, all I can do is just be the deliverer of the word. I'm just Hallelujah. Thank you. you don't receive Amen. It, Amen. Don't receive Amen. It, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You God bless you. Hallelujah. Anything about Amen. that. I could just pray for you. The Lord is with me. The day that you hear the Lord's voice, the Jesus. day the Bible says, the day that you hear the ah, Lord's voice, harden not your heart. Yeah. Harden not your heart. 
God God gave this message today, it wasn't by accident. It's because he want to free some people. He want to set the time free. But I'm just telling because I get so many messages from people all around the world, and I tell them this. God helps those who want to help themselves. Jesus. Amen. God Jesus. Amen. helps those who want to help themselves. You got to want it. Jesus yes. Didn't force himself on, Jesus won't force himself on nobody. Come on now. Come on. He's a gentleman. Thank you, Jesus. He'll give you an option. He'll give you a choice. And he'll say, choose this day who you will serve. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Be free. Woman of God, be free. Thank you, Jesus. Be free, woman of God, be free. Ah, glory. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Be free. In the name of Yahweh the Messiah. Glory be unto God. I love y'all so very much. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Love you. We know this word has truly empowered you for this week. And if you want to activate this word and manifest this word into your life, visit our website and sow into it. The website is www.kci.world. That's www.kci.world, not .com, not .org, for we are worldwide where there is always something supernaturally happening. That is www.kci.world. As always, we are speaking life over you, and we are excited about your now, now your next, next, and your new season in Jesus' name. name. This has been your weekly supernatural word of empowerment from the generals.